Hey folks, I have no idea what is going to happen with our speaker race. Let me just get that out first. And foremost, as far as who is left in the running, it looks like Pete Session, who is the local District 17 right here in Waco, Texas, uh, a representative. He threw his hat in the ring in the last couple of days, and I actually got to meet him and do an interview with him at a town hall here in West. I think he would be a great man for the job. He is uh, America first, uh, constitutional as far as I'm concerned. But I think more than that, I would even prefer Don, uh, Byron Donaldson, which is another one in the race of about six to eight already that have thrown their hat in the ring. Emmers and Hearn have got the majority of the Rhinos and the Uniparty wanting uh, to vote for these two guys. Makes me skeptical of both of them right off the bat. But at any rate, until we find out what's going on with that, we'll just put that whole conversation on hold. Uh, hopefully they can get to some consensus with hopefully somebody like Byron Donaldson or even Pete Session, an America First type candidate. Not one of these uh, Yes Men Rhinos and other Kevin McCarthy look alike, or act alike, should I say. What I've got here for you folks is Congressman uh, James Comer has released some more bombshell evidence about Biden. Now, everybody remembers uh, when Biden not too long ago said that, um, where's the money? Uh, when he was asked about all this influence peddling and things. Well, we believe we have actually got a receipt now. It looks like the trail is getting, the hound dogs are getting closer and closer to finding out uh, there is direct funds being funneled to Biden in the name of loan payments, of course. Uh, but at any rate, all this happened, and within a few weeks of this money coming into uh, Joe Biden's hands, he spent a few million dollars on one of his houses. And so I guess he was getting his funds together from his family members that probably owed him for helping him launder all this money. Just my speculation, but that seems to be what's going on. But let's go ahead and get James Comer's take on this. But this right here is stuff that should be impeachable, imprisonable offenses uh, once we get to the fact that we can prove direct connection, not just to Hunter and these, and these oligarchs and uh, criminals in all these different countries, including China, Ukraine, Russia, all these countries that Hunter and Joe have had business in. But I'm also talking about uh, Joe Biden's brother, Jim Biden, James Biden, who has definitely been doing a lot of this business, shakedown, bagman stuff, way before Hunter ever entered the picture. And so that's who we're going to talk a little bit about today, uh, listening to James Comer. Uh, the money trail not just, doesn't lead to just some of the Biden family members. It leads to just about all of them. And I believe the brother is a key point man for a lot of the direction the investigation needs to go in order to get to the bottom of this crap. And this right here, this video here, will prove some of that. Just, just check it out, folks. We're still digging into the evidence subpoenaed from bank accounts belonging to Hunter Biden, the son of President Joe Biden, and James and Sarah Biden, the brother and sister-in-law of the president. A document that we're releasing today raises new questions about how President Biden personally benefited from his family's shady influence peddling of his last name and their access to him. Bank records obtained by the House Committee on Oversight have revealed a $200,000 direct payment from James and Sarah Biden to Joe Biden in the form of a personal check. Here's some important context about this check we've obtained in our investigation. In 2018, James Biden received $600,000 in loans from AmeriCorps, a financially distressed and failing rural hospital operator. According to bankruptcy court documents, James Biden received these loans, quote, based upon representations that his last name, Biden, could open doors and that he could obtain a large investment from the Middle East based on his political connections, end quote. On March 1, 2018, AmeriCorps wired a $200,000 loan into James and Sarah Biden's personal bank account, not their business bank account. And then on the very same day, James Biden wrote a $200,000 check from this same personal bank account to Joe Biden. James Biden wrote this check to Joe Biden as a, quote, loan repayment. AmeriCorps, a distressed company, loaned money to James Biden, who then sent it to Joe Biden. Even if this was a personal loan repayment, it's still troubling that Joe Biden's ability to be paid back by his brother depended on the success of his family's shady financial dealings. Some yep. immediate questions President Biden must answer for the American people. 
Does he have documents proving he lent such a large sum of money to his brother? And what were the terms of such financial agreement? Did he have similar financial agreements with other family members that led them to make similar large payments to him? And did he know that the same day James Biden wrote him a check for $200,000, James Biden had just received a loan for the exact same amount from business dealings with a company that was in financial distress and failing. The House Oversight Committee will soon announce our next investigative actions and continue to follow the money. The bank records don't end here. There's more to come. And that's a fact, folks. There's no the doubt. White House believes. There's no doubt about it, folks. Uh, they are getting closer and closer with the money trail. My question is, as many times as they've tried to go after Trump for his uh, bank statements, his tax records, uh, every business transaction he's ever made, how come no one has tried to audit not not Joe, not Hunter Biden, but Joe Biden, for say the last fifteen years, audit his income coming in versus his his expenses that he has uh, spent, like all these houses that he owns, these beach houses and things. I guarantee you, the figures are not going to add up. All they would have to do to prove Joe Biden is at the least a tax fraud. It's just auditing. Uh, there's no way is IRS. Um, IRS tax records could be accurate considering nobody knows exactly how much money Joe Biden's worth, but he's got millions of dollars in properties on a $100,000 uh, a year job uh, salary. It sounds fishy. It stinks. We all know what's going on, folks. Hopefully our Congress will get their shit together and pick somebody that we can uh, actually help continue our process of investigating uh, digging into the bottom of the Biden's mess and hopefully help expose this crap. Like, subscribe, and share to Voted Patriot. Everybody have a great day. Uh, what James Comer is talking about is there is an actual check out there that is signed by the Bidens right there on the front of the, of the thumbnail of this video. Over now, folks. We